Hey Pit Masters, I feel like doing an overnight pulled pork. Before we're going to work on the beautiful cut of pork that I ordered, we're going to set up our barbecue. Let's take a look inside. This is the way I left it after the last cook. We need to clean it a little bit, take out the ash, and then we're ready to set it up. We're taking out the grill grates and they're quite dirty. So I just want to get them under hot water and a little bit of soap and then rinse them off. They'll look as good as new. Look at the deflector plates. We got some burned debris from our last cook. If we put it in like this, it will start smoking and will make our pulled pork taste horrible. We'll quickly scrape off all the dirt and then we're good to go. We'll clean off the ash, but we're also going to replace our kick-ass basket with a new basket that I got from Kamado Joe. Look at it. We'll put in some new charcoal. The Kamado Big Block Charcoal is produced with smoking low and slow sessions like this in mind. It's a really hard wood, big lumps. It will burn real slow, stable and for a long time. That's absolutely perfect for what we're doing right here. We'll put in three of these fire starters, light them up. Our fire starters are burned up and that means we can continue. We're going to put in apple chunks. And I'm choosing apple chunks because I love apple to go with pork. And also I want a little bit of a lighter smoke flavor. You can use a little bit of hickory or oak to balance out the apple flavor, but I just wanna stick to our apple today and uh, that's gonna provide us with plenty of beautiful flavor. I'm just gonna put in two of these. We're only gonna need smoke for the first three hours or so. And we're going to put in one straight onto the fire and then one a little bit to the side to start up smoking later. Now we'll put in our deflector plates. Now we'll close the lid and set the top fan to the first stripe. The bottom fan to two fingers open. And then when the temperature closes in to that 110 degrees Celsius, we're going to fine tune it with our top fan. This is a beautiful five kilogram Boston butt. Let's take it out of the package. Flip it around and look at that fat cap. And that's perfect if you want to roast your Boston butt, but we don't want to roast this Boston butt, we want to smoke it. So we're taking off the fat cap. Now I'm gonna take my fingers and I'm just gonna work my way around and find the edges of the fat cap. I'm gonna take my knife and take it off. I'm just following that fat cap. So this is what we're taking off. Don't throw it away. You can use it, you can save it, you can make it, you can make it into chunks and use it to render down and grease in our pans and well I can come up with so many things to do with this. Just just don't throw it away. Now we're going to season our Boston butt and I'm just gonna put on a little bit of olive oil and this is the classic olive oil so you won't have that strong olive oil flavor on your pulled pork. We just need it to make the rub stick. Now we'll put on our superlicious barbecue rub and that's perfect for bubork. There's not too much sugar in there, it's all flavor. If you want more sweetness, you can add more brown sugar. Now our Boston butt is ready to go in the smoker. So we'll open up the classic and put it on. Look at that. Now that is a beauty. And the last thing that we're going to do is put in a thermometer so we can keep check of the temperature. Now you want to stay away from that bone. So we're just feeling where the bone is and you can see we don't want to put it there. So we'll do, just put it in here and make sure that we got it centered. Now close the lid then let it come back up to temperature. 110 degrees Celsius, 225 degrees Fahrenheit and don't touch the grill. Just set the dials, keep fine tuning it and then let it run until you reach the desired core temperature. And it's gonna take another 16 to 20 hours. We'll just have to wait for it. Yeah. It's starting to cook. It's not smoking, it's cooking. You guys can see the difference. If you look at the, the white 
at the left end. We're not getting that beautiful bark that I'm looking for. So we're lowering the temperature and we're adding another chunk of smoke hook and just gotta wait for it to get that, that better looking bark. So I'm hoping that will do the trick, but um, we just gotta check in another hour or so. It's now midnight and uh, I'll check again at one o'clock and see if we got that beautiful bark. I just got the alarm saying that my pulled pork is done. It's at 94 degrees Celsius, so it's time to take it off the grill. So the pulled pork is off the grill now, and I just checked it with my thermometer probe, see if it's tender enough, and sure enough, I could poke in it without any resistance, and for me, that's a good sign. So I took it off, put it in a container, and we're just gonna sit, let it sit there until morning, and uh, yeah and then we'll open it up and start pulling it apart. Looking forward to that, but first, another few hours of sleep. <laughs> Thank God. Well, I got a few hours of sleep, a clean shave, and now we're ready to get that pulled pork out. See how it turned out. I got good hopes for this pulled pork, and uh, I'm really curious. There we go, look at that. Ooh, a lot of juices in the bottom. And it's still hot. It's almost too hot to hold in your hand. So we want to make sure we get every last drop of juice that's coming out of this pulled pork. Look at that. <laughs> it's almost falling apart in my hand. This bust and butt is ready to fall apart. Look at how subtle it is, how wiggly it is. It looks absolutely juicy and it's super, super, super tender. We're just gonna take out that bone and start shredding it. Well, it looks beautiful, but it's time for a taste test. So I wanna get a bit of that bark. Nice bit of smoke ring. Let's bite into it. Mm. This is a fantastic pulled pork. In my opinion, your pulled pork still needs to taste like pork. You want that smoked flavor and then you want a hint of those rubs. But this is fantastic. Great stuff to work with. Let's start working on our bun, our lettuce and a little bit of sauce. First, I'll fire up the barbecue. And while our barbecue is firing up, we're going to shred some cabbage. Now we'll shred our carrots. We shredded our carrots. Now we're going to add mayonnaise. I like to use yogurt mayonnaise because it's a lot lighter. And since our pork is already heavy in fat, this works real well. Two big tablespoons will do the job. And then around 100 milliliters of apple cider vinegar. And a bit of fresh ground pepper and salt. Now we'll mix that up. Now this basic coleslaw recipe is going to provide us with that acidity. It's going to be at the bottom of the bun, then we're going to have that pulled pork. But the pulled pork is real fat and this is going to balance it out. As a barbecue sauce, I want a strong and sweet flavor. So the base of our sauce is going to be maple syrup. Yes, that's right. So it's going to be extremely sweet. This is around five tablespoons. We're also gonna add half that amount of honey. Then we're going to add a little bit of balsamic vinegar. It's going to be around a tablespoon. And then we'll add two tablespoons of Mr. Lee Perkins's, his favorite sauce. Yes, that one. Three tablespoons of raw cane sugar. And then just for consistency, three tablespoons of ketchup. To match the flavor profile of our pulled pork, we're going to also add three tablespoons of Superlicious barbecue wrap. Stir it up. And then when it's all mixed together, we're going to put it on the barbecue and let the sugars dissolve. I'm looking for that point where the sugars are dissolved and we can see our first bubble. Then it's done. Now first I'm gonna put on some coleslaw. Now we'll put on our pulled pork. That is crazy amazing. Now we'll put on our barbecue sauce. Look at that, what a beauty. <laughs> the pulled pork turned out fantastic. The sauce tastes really great, as well as the coleslaw. 
And when it all comes together, then you get the best pulled pork sandwich you ever had. Let's bite into this. That is absolutely crazy. So full of juices. Look at that. The juices are running down my arm. It is so tasty. And the sweetness, the sourness, and then the pork. Man, you gotta love a pulled pork sandwich like this. So during the process, I was actually surprised how short of a time I needed to cook the pulled pork. I, I thought I needed longer, and normally I do. But now it was just finished before I knew it. And uh, I thought maybe this is a bad thing for my pulled pork, but it turned out fantastic. We're going to stop recording now so I can eat this sandwich. If you like this video, give me a big thumbs up and a comment down below. And I want to say a big thank you to everyone that's supporting our channel. If you want to become a supporter, then hit that sponsor button or go to our Patreon page. It's all much appreciated. And if you're looking for the recipe, you're going to get it when you're a sponsor or a Patreon. Thank you for watching. Keep on grilling and it's makkelijk.